Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we're out on the river. We brought the jet boat out. We're going for a multi-species day and we've got a special guest for you. Let's go fishing. It has been a crazy year. We've been trying to get this guy on the boat for so long, but his travel schedule is nuts. He's been all over the country multiple times, but we finally got Mr. Tim Little back on the boat. We're actually going fishing together. It's crazy. We've been trying to go fishing together for months now. So we are out river fishing. We got the jet boat out. We're just going exploring. We're gonna run a bunch of new water. There's smallmouth. There's trout, walleye, striped bass. I have no idea what we're going to catch, but we'll take whatever we can get. Let's get to it. Calm down. Just never know what you're gonna get. A rainbow on the Kitek. Thanks, bud. Striper? It is. <laughs> this guy's gonna mess me up. Hey. It's a small mouth. What it looks like. It's bass. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Net him? Yeah. Come in your way. Sorry, but I'm snagged over on the other side. He's in the current. Kill him at Nice fish. Yeah, 
buddy. That's why we ran up that rapid. <laughs> he wasn't playing around. Come on, dude. Finally got what we're after. Beautiful river smallmouth. Smashed that little uh, that little guppy head Kitek. Matt and I have just been running, exploring this river. You've seen some of the uh, some of the footage. So much fun in this little jet boat. I mean, we're running. It's got to be less than six inches of water. Hopefully, some of this footage shows up. But uh, get a little bit of a pucker factor. But it's so cool. It's beautiful. You can see the rapids behind us. So far, we've caught a rainbow trout, a striper, and a nice smallmouth. So. Who knows what you're gonna catch out here? We're having a blast. Let's see what we can get. Rock bass. <laughs> we are filling out our limit of species. Now we got a little rock bass. <laughs> Thanks, bud. All right, guys, a little midday update for you. I don't know if you can see the white water back there, but essentially we don't know the limits of the jet boat yet. We know we can run shallow, but we don't know how shallow. So we've been out here. We started out by going up river. If you want to be smart, you always go upstream. That way, if you have a problem, you can drift back to wherever you launched. So we started out running up river. We hit bottom one time, but we actually hit it after I wimped out of a spot, came off pad, and then we decided to drift back through and the boat itself, oh, snagged. The boat itself hit bottom, the motor didn't. The motor has not touched one time today and we've been fishing dirt shallow. But we did not know what to expect here. We've caught four species so far. We'll take anything we can get, right? We're just out here having a relaxed, fun time on a hot summer day. We were going to go to Chickamauga today. There's a great big tournament there today. So rather than be in everybody's way, we hopped in the jet, decided to explore a river. It's hot out here. We are sweating, but we are having a blast. Oh, you hook? Hold on, can I get a net? Oh, white bass. <laughs> <laughs> that's a game before. Oh, that's funny. Nice white bass on the 2.8 Kitek. We can't catch the same species twice. Look at that. I'm glad we caught him when we did because guys, our trolling motor is about this close to dead. And we've only been out here, we're just backsliding. Let's turn it up to 10 and we still just backslide. So we haven't been out here very long. We attempted to keep this boat rigging really simple do it on the cheap with the exception of an Ultrex, of course. 
I had to have an old tracks. But we've got the stock charger still in it that's old and beat up. And it's got the Walmart batteries that came in it. So something gave out. I don't know if we're going to call it a day or if we're going to load up and go buy some batteries and regroup and try and catch some more fish. I think we'll talk about that once we're in the truck. But we're going to keep drifting for now and try and catch one more before we've got to get out of here and just have no control whatsoever. Right now we can still change our direction a little bit while we're drifting. But I don't think we're going to have that for long. Control the motor won't chase. <laughs> I'm fishing six pound. I've, I've got six pound line. All right, I think that's good. I've hooked something big on a 2.8 Kitec. And I don't have enough trolling motor to chase it when it runs. So Tim had to fire up the outboard to, to chase this fish. He's got a big old head shake on him. Saw color one time, but that's it. I don't know what I have. It's no catfish. It's not rolling. I mean, it almost feels like a big striper. Taking time. Yeah, we'll get there. Don't take him out there. You won't get your life back. Nothing I can do. You figure he's not going to leave the hole, right? He won't go more than a couple hundred yards. <laughs> Dude, what did I hook? Six ten medium light X Pride <laughs> with an old Tegra of one thousand with six pound line. And worse yet, I spooled it up with six pound fluoro out of a partial spool. When Tim got to the house this morning, I'm like, hey man, I only spooled up half a spool. Hopefully I'll be alright. And now I've got a fish that wants to spool me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and give it up. Come on. Come on. Nice. <laughs> well, we finally caught two of the same species. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that guy. On a little old 2.8 Kitec on the guppy head. 
That is so cool. That is a nice fish. Man, <laughs> go figure. I'm gonna get him back in. Just out here exploring in the jet boat. We wanted to stay out of the way on Chickamauga. We knew we knew the tournament guys were out there and they need their room so they could do their thing. So we thought we'd just come out here and do some exploring. Do we have five species, four species, five species? Striper, Rainbow? Rainbow. Rock bass, smallmouth. And another striper. Yeah. It's two striper. Four species, some real a nice smallmouth, a big striper. Light tackle. This is what East Tennessee is all about. Just out here having a blast. All right, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. That fish about destroyed my line anyway. I think I'm done for, but uh, what are you thinking? Really cool. I mean, I, I love exploring new fisheries. Um, you know, running up, I don't know if you guys, you guys probably saw, running up some of these rapids was a little, little sketchy, but once you get used to it, you're like, oh, we got it. <laughs> Look at bigger rapids and and uh, caught some, caught a lot of fish, a lot of species anyways. Caught um, some good fish. Yeah, some good fish. And unfortunately, you know, the battery thing, the troll motor died, but uh, all in all, a great day, exploratory day, fishing water we've never fished before and uh, not fishing the normal reservoir or lake. So that's pretty cool. Right, fishing the river stuff. You know, when we, when we were looking to move it out here, we looked at all the different types of fisheries and that's one of the things you know, the mecca of bass fishing here at Chickamauga is there's, within a two hour radius, there's so many different types of fisheries, so many different types of fish to fish for, right. and great fisheries. So, uh, you know, we're looking to explore, expand, catch new species, catch bigger species, musky, all of it. So uh, today was just a little sample of what we look forward here in the future to do, more and more exploring and bring you guys along with us. Yeah, I'm sorry we gotta wrap it up early. We talked about it. I think what we're gonna do is just put it on the trailer head back home and I'll try and track down some new batteries and a different charger. We'll get this boat dialed in so next time we can get out and get a full day, but it didn't stop us from catching some good ones. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.